Hey guys, uh, Magnus here from uh, Magnus and Steven Place. First of all, I want to apologize for, you know, not making that many episodes recently. Both me and Steven has been quite busy and, you know, believe it or not, this is not the only thing that we do, even though we like to. But uh, this is not what I'm recording now. Actually, I went to Akihabara yesterday and I purchased a really cool game system that I think most of you may not know about, but I highly recommend it. This is the PC Engine Duo. For those that you, for those that don't know about it, uh, the PC Engine was released in Japan in 1987. It was a 16-bit system, and it was the competitor for the Famicom. Um, it was a really cool system. It played games on these little cards called the Hue cards, by the size of a credit card. It's pretty cool, actually. Um, and then in 1989, they released a CD add-on uh, that allowed you to, you know, play games on CD and experience like CD quality music, which was like really, you know, rare at the time. And I think it was the first real, like, uh, CD-based console. And then in 1992, they finally came to the census and combined them both and made this one, which is the PC Engine Duo. It has the card reader and it has the, like, CD. I don't know how to open this, wait. It's unlocked. Anyways, it has a CD. Uh, so I think, I thought I was going to talk a bit about the system, which I have done now and uh, talk a bit up about the games that I bought because I got some pretty sweet games and I really you know kind of uh, tried to read about a lot of the games before I you know bought them so I think I have a pretty good solid start when it comes to collecting for the for the PC engine uh, the first game that I bought of course was and this is the reason why I bought the system in the first place it's Dracula X Rondo of Blood uh, this is, I think, and I think that many people would agree with me, the best, or one of the best cosplaying games ever made. It's just so polished, it looks good, it plays good, the music is awesome. The game is just like a tribute to what makes Castlevania so, you know, good as a game you know, series. And I don't know what to say, it's just, if you haven't played it, try to, you know, whatever, like emulate it, or try to get a copy, because this is like a, one of the hidden gems when it comes to, you know, retro gaming, so definitely I recommend. The second game I bought was uh, Ninja Gaiden for the PC Engine. I mean, it's Ninja Gaiden, it's just better. It's not, it's way more polished, polished than the NES version, and, you know, it plays better, it looks better because it's on the PC Engine. And this is the thing that makes the PC Engine so interesting, like many of the games that we kind of know from the Sega Master System or the NES actually got, re got released on the PC Engine and they always tend to look better and sound better on the PC Engine so I really recommend that and that brings us to the next game that actually was released on the Sega Master System one of the first games I ever played my dad bought it for me when I was like uh, maybe six a really underrated game and it's really really good this is and it makes no sense now this is Adventure Island but this is actually the Japanese version of Wonder Boy 3 and Wonder Boy 3 is a brilliant game. It's so underrated and it's so good. I I think it was the best game for the Sega Master System, that's debatable. But I loved it as a kid and even today I loved it and that's why I bought this. As I said before, this one also looks better on the PC engine. And I mean just look at the footage, you can see for yourself. Uh, it scrolls better and the graphic is slightly updated. Not by much though. Um, Another game that I got is called uh, Spriggan. To be honest, I haven't played it yet. I just know that this is a hell of a shooter. This is one of the best shooters for the system. And I know like there's like a million shooting games for the PC Engine, of course. But uh, for some reason, watching like YouTube videos and stuff, this one really looked awesome. And I just had to have it. It was like 2,500 yen, so totally worth it. Looking forward to playing that. Uh, got a few more games left. I'm trying to make this video as short as possible. I know you do like the long videos. So. Um, another game I got is Newtopia. This is basically, like you know that, like I can say, Zelda kind of like revolutionized the way we look at games and Sega tried to copy it with their game called Golden Axe Warrior, which was actually a good clone of the Zelda game. And the PC Engine tried to copy it by this game, Newtopia. A great clone, looks good. Uh, I know I haven't played it yet, but it seems to be a really fun game and I'm looking forward to try it out. Um, moving on a bit more to the card games, 
I should say, by the way, that the only CD games that I have so far that is actually playable by CD is these two. It's Castlevania and Spriggan. Those are the CD games. The rest of the games are card games, even though it looks like they're CD games. So, uh, but this is the one I have with no uh, cover. First one I got when it comes to like the no cover games was a game called, uh, what is it called? PC Boy or something in Japanese. Um, it's called Boyne's Adventure, and this is the second game. This was basically they uh, tried to make like a mascot for the system. I don't know how well they did with that fucking baby, but it was supposed to be like their Mario or their Sonic or whatever. But you know what I mean. Um, also got Bomberman '94. What can you say? It's Bomberman. It's always good. Bomberman always works. Uh, this is an interesting one. Splatterhouse. One of the first really gory games ever made. It was made by uh, Namco. But here it's called Namcot. I don't know why. What's up with that? But uh, yeah, it's made by Namco. And it's just uh, you walk around in a fucking mansion with a guy wearing a Jason mask and just killing everything. If you like scary games and gory games, this is definitely one for you. I played it before and I really liked it. Super cool. Great atmosphere. R Type 1. Probably the best version of R Type for its time, aside from the arcade. Super classic shooter, can't go wrong with that. Um, this one was the cheapest game, I only paid 200 yen, which is like 15 crowns, or I don't know, a bit over a dollar, if you talk about American money. Uh, so this is Galaga 88, don't know much about it, I know it's a classic game, never really tried it, so I thought this is a good time to give it a try. So uh, yeah, that's all the games I have uh, for you right now. I should probably add that uh, the PC Engine was released in America as well under the name Turbo Graphics. Turbo Graphics. I don't know how to say it. Turbo Graphics. It was released like in the early '90s. Uh, it was basically the they never they never got the CD as far as I know, but it, it was basically the same system aside from the name and many of the games that was exclusive to the Japanese market never came to to the American market. So that's why the system is so interesting. There's so many great games that you can find that you know are really obscure and unknown, but they're for the Japanese market they were they were quite famous. Um, what else is to say? The PC Engine actually sold better than the Sega Mega Drive did and the Sega Master System did in Japan, which is quite interesting. It was almost as popular as the Super no the Famicom, like our Nintendo 8 bit in the late eighties. So if you talk to anybody in Japan and ask them, like, do you know about the PC Engine? They're, they're going to they're gonna say, like, of course. It was huge when I was a kid. And uh, it's really fun to just talk about it with people, if you're a nerd. Anyways, uh, so all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little video. And uh, if you have any questions about this system or where you can buy it or how much it is in Japan, you know, just send me a mail or whatever. Uh, I'll try to respond. But I highly recommend this one. It's really good. And I'm so excited about like collecting for the system anyways guys have a great summer uh, i'll see you i guess in a few days now our new video is coming up so uh take care guys and uh, you know be careful out there don't slip on a banana peel or whatever take care peace